841. Bethany's in the studio from Frederick County Animal Control, and I am the holding the cutest little cutie who's just kind of settled in. Goliath is not big, but very little, and you should make an appointment to see Goliath at Visit FC ac.as.me. Good morning, Bethany. Hi. How is he at the shelter? Well, you know, Aww. like a lot of dogs, he rolled in as a stray. He's been with us for a, about a week and a half now. Um, he a is a, a whopping eight pounds, yeah. but uh, he has the personality of a much larger dog. Um, he is a big man in his kennel, and he, you know, gets out, and he's zooming, and he's, you know, pulling like a pit bull. Um, he is a very... Um, affectionate dog. Um, he is uh, definitely a, a dog Hi. that we thought would go really quickly, and we're surprised that he doesn't have any applications yet. Yeah. Um, people are always asking us if we have small dogs, and he's a really small dog. Yeah, I'm a small dog person, because then when they get older, you can scoop them up, and you can love on them, and yeah, you're he's, sweet. It is important that he learns that he still needs to walk, though. Sometimes oh, so you're telling me to put him down? <laughs> But then we get some of the small dogs All in that right. don't understand the leash. They don't walk on their okay, own. Okay, so, I'm going to put Goliath so down now. So it is important now. that they, they learn it's okay. to walk on their Come own. Come on, sweet boy. Um, there are a couple there things you with go. Goliath. Good um, job. He um, came in really, really matted, so Aww. they had to shave him down. Um, so when you're getting, he's a, a Yorkie mix. So when you're getting dogs that, that <laughs> need grooming, mm -hmm. it's really important that they get the grooming. So his, his haircut right now isn't fantastic. Because our main concern was just getting rid of all of those mats because they can be a health concern. Oh, sure. They get really tight. They, <laughs> they start to pull. They can be painful, and they can cause infections and things like that. So um, it's really important that whoever adopts Goliath continues with proper oh, grooming maintenance. Goodness. And he's not a super big fan of it, actually. Mm. Um, he doesn't like vet restraint and things like that, um, a lot of tight pressure on him. So that's just something that potential adopters need to be aware of. Um, when they are, you know, taking him to the groomers and vets. But also for that reason, we're thinking that he'd be better with kids that are a little bit older who can sure. respect that and don't want to pick him up like he's a stuffed animal or something right. like that because of his small size. Now, but, what are you saying, maybe you said this and I might have missed it because I was infatuated with Goliath. <laughs> How old is Goliath? He's about three to four is okay. what we're estimating. So he's still a relatively young dog. <laughs> um, he does like to sit in laps and things like that. He does. Um, he doesn't seem to be bothered really by the other dogs. Um He's, you know, he you were he was comfortable being held by you. Yeah. Um, when we shot our Pet Pals episode, he was happy just to sit on Sean's lap. Uh -huh. So he has a lot of, of really, really good qualities. He does um, do a nice sit. Um, but again, I bet just, you could teach him how to dance. He looks like he likes to dance. He will. He, he, he will, you know, if he really wants something, he will do a little dance yes. for you. Yeah. Um, so... He's, he's super cute, and we're just, you know, waiting to find that, that forever home for him. Um, he is one of a couple small dogs that we have right now. Um, he's the, the dog that can be adopted independently, and then we have a Pomeranian and a Minpin mix um, that are a little bit older that are a bonded pair. Oh, okay. So we do have a couple of small dog options. We also have um, oh, some smaller so beagles nice. right now. Okay. So if you're looking for smaller, whether you're looking for 8 pounds or more along the lines of 20 pounds, we have some okay. options. Um, if you want to, you know, stop oh, in and meet with those adoptable dogs. Wonderful. Now, there's an event coming up. It takes a village to save the homeless pets, and it's happening the end of this month on Saturday at Dutch's Daughter. This is the annual event. Is that correct? This is the first time for this event. Oh, this okay. event is specific, is, is an event that's being held by our sister nonprofit group, FOCUS, which um, stands for Frederick County Friends of Art. Frederick Friends of our County Animal Shelter. Okay. Um, and all of the, the proceeds and things from the ticket sales and the silent auctions <laughs> are going towards uh, the, the renovation fund that we have for our building. So, oh. um, you know, our, our building is quite old, and we're it's not necessarily um, functional in the way that we would like. Um, so they're, they're helping us to, to fundraise to compensate for whatever we can't get from the county funds um, so that we can make sure that we have new kennels and bigger cat rooms and, um, you know, different spaces that are just more efficient, um, safer, healthier, more convenient for um, not only the animals but for the staff, visitors, volunteers, and things like that. Wonderful. So if you want information, it's happening at Dutch's Daughter. You can go to ffocas.org. And, of course, we encourage you to put an application in for Goliath so he can be the newest member of your family with Frederick County Animal Shelter. Keyword 03. Aw. Good job, Goliath. Not catcher. That's all.